want to construct a cool home theater, but you are unaware of the starting point, I will inform you. Confused by the advice from self-proclaimed audio gurus, welcome to my YouTube channel. I suggest only the finest in terms of price and quality. And even if you desire something exclusive and highly expensive, I will effortlessly choose, integrate and configure premium components, but once again at an extremely attractive price. Home theater. We hear this phrase more and more frequently, particularly following the global pandemic. You recall those times when people stayed at home for months and were unsure of how to occupy their time. As a result, TV series, movies and games gained popularity, while classes, unfortunately, didn't make it to the top, according to statistics. In vain, the gene pool needs to be raised somehow. Streaming platforms are more active, firmly occupying top positions, displacing giants like Universal, Warner and even Disney movies. Now the company like Netflix rules the ball, which releases quite good content and immediately on streaming, which makes building a home theater a very urgent and relevant task. Just imagine you want sound all around, budget is enormous, no desire at all, but what to choose? How to arrange everything so that it doesn't hurt painfully for wasted money? First of all, you need to determine the configuration. Begin with at least a 5.1.2 system, potentially expandable to 7.1.4 in the future. The first two numbers represent speakers that play formats like Dolby Digital, Dolby True HD, DTS HD Master Audio. The third number indicates speakers that will support formats such as Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, and even the underground Aura 3D. If you have a desire to delve into this topic in more detail, write in the comments and I will be happy to make a video about them. Assume you've settled on the golden mean and chosen the 5.1.4 configuration. The main question arises, what will be the brains of the cinema? And in our case, they must not be of biological origin, friends. Previously, I installed receivers in cheap systems, typically suggesting ones with pre-out output, so front speakers could be unloaded and supplemented with an amplifier, creating a good stereo sound. But with the entry of the Chinese brand tone winner into our market, everything has changed. Introducing the processor worth 119k rubles, capable of decoding formats up to 736. This is an unprecedented audacity by Asians because previously such a thing, for example from Marans, would have been very costly. Yes, it needs an amp. Ideally tone winner for 11 channels. Model 88300 BTW, it costs 169k rub. But in the end, you get a very flexible and highly productive system, divided by power, which will have a very positive effect on the overall sound picture. We open not just the box, but also him. By the way, I believe we've already had a video somewhere in which we filmed its unpacking process. However, you know, repetition is the mother of learning. Manual guide. By the way, the remote control is not too bad. It actually works quite well and is easy to use. Sockets, cables, and friends, what is it that we see? Oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing. What a cool adapter. And look at what is written, it says Philips. This is not some kind of no-name or generic brand. Congratulations, Asians. Congratulations, we appreciate how well they take care of us and the great job they are doing. Let's see, go over main functions. What I dislike, I'll say immediately. This is of course a screen. He is very small. I repeatedly say in the video that it's time, friends, to insert some big beautiful screens, at least at the level of smartphones from five years ago, and not at the level of smartphones from 25 years ago. However, this is a stone in the garden of absolutely all manufacturers, excluding only a small number of them. What do I like? Yes, basically, that's it. Because for this money, it is very difficult to find fault with something. This is an independent processor, rather serious, equipped with a good calibration system. Behind you, there is a significant number of balanced connections, such as RCA and HDMI. In total, we have six of these connections here, which is very cool. Moreover, there are two HDMI outputs, adding to its impressive features. I hardly ever use the second one, I believe you do as well. Optical inputs, by the way, what are your thoughts, my friends? Do you prefer Wi-Fi or Bluetooth compatibility for support? Okay, kindly write in the comments section. I will not disclose this secret to you. And analog inputs, acquaintances. 
In principle, this is a truly pre-made solution capable of elevating your home theater to an exceptionally high level. With such a configuration, 736 Remind, do you know the meaning of the number 3? 3. This means you can install a whole 3 subs. Can you imagine? This is a lot, friends. And by the way, let's find these inputs. Let's see where our submarine is located. Just in this area he is. One submarine can be connected via balance, and two submarines can be connected via the classic input, also known as RCA. We also possess fully duplicating analog outputs at this location. Well, essentially, that is all that you require. Once again, dear friends, please pay close attention to the micro TF memory card. Why? Why did our Asian friends insert this connector? I still can't comprehend. Please inform me in the comments section. Observe the way the process of turning on is taking place. He verified the version. Please be aware that we possess USB connectivity and two high quality knobs positioned on the front panel. One of them is responsible for the volume, the other one is responsible for the source for selecting those numerous sources that you will most likely connect via HDMI. Well and here everything is simple, let's listen to the button input, in principle not bad. And in my opinion the buttons look quite reliable, I don't know how long they will last. There are thousands 10k clicks, probably 1m seems, generally don't hesitate press buttons. Hurry up, rub your fingers. You are interested in how the top Chinese brand arranged all this inside? Let's watch. To do this you will need a screwdriver that will unscrew these numerous bolts, friends. friends specifically designed and created for all of you. Look at what we have inside, what kind of boards are here, how everything is organized. I think this will help you make a choice. In my opinion everything is worthy. For this money I don't see why to nitpick here, therefore a normal device. Certainly you could trim the whips more neatly, similar to Orender, but once again my friends in Orender there is a transport that costs 600,000, a million, two, three, whereas here you have a complete multi-channel processor that plays more than decently. In this place you can see a DSP board that contains microchips made by Analog Device, a reputable manufacturer. By the way I discovered an additional Panasonic chip, not bad already. There is visible close cooperation between Chinese engineers and Japanese. As you can observe, there are a considerable number of details. In conclusion, my friends, I have already installed such devices. Plays well, but be sure to add high quality amplifiers. Similar to Tone Winner, you have the option to add the same Premiere, which is modular and can accommodate either two channels or four channels. I recommend you to reconnect once more if feasible utilizing a well-balanced connection. Calibrate the room correctly, utilize a dependable source and you will be satisfied. And don't forget that HDMI cables also matter friends. Yes, not only network cables but also HDMI. Although it seems they are digital, how can they influence? There are 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 and all in a sequence. However, nonetheless, the distinction truly does exist. Well, if you do not hear her. Well, I apologize then, I'm sorry friends.